Today we'll be showing you how to configure a DHCP relay option on Juniper switches. So if you have a look here, we've got our two servers here, each in a separate VLAN. This server 14 is in VLAN 10, this server 15 is in VLAN 20. They are connected to a layer 3 switch and the layer 3 switch is connected via a layer 3 interface towards the DHCP server. Now, why would you need to configure a DHCP relay options? DHCP is broadcast traffic and broadcasts are contained within VLANs or subnets. And now what we'll see here is that this PC is in VLAN 10. The layer 3 interface for that is 192.168.10.1 and the DHCP server has an IP address of 10.10.10.2. So what'll happen is this server over here will broadcast its DHCP message, but it will stay contained within VLAN 10. So now that we don't have the DHCP server connected to VLAN 10, the DHCP requests won't reach the server. So let's have a look at our config here. Uh, just a quick one, I've got two servers in VLAN 20. Just to show you that you can use the same forwarder and the same DHCP server to assign IPs in different ranges and different VLANs. So this is the DHCP server. There's uh, nothing much going on here. Uh, I just want to quickly show you, show display set. So we have a address assignment for VLAN 10. We've got the router 192.168.10.1, which is the layer 3 interface on the switch. We have a low of 192.168.10.10 and a high of 10.254. Now we've got the same for VLAN 20. Just uh, replace everything here with dot .20. Right, so now if we go to our layer 3 switch, we can do a show display set here. So all we've got is we've got the interface towards the DHCP server. That's a rooted interface, 10, 10, 10, 1 configured on the switch and 10, 10, 10, 2 configured on the DHCP server. Then we've got our interfaces connecting to the servers. This one in VLAN 10, this one in VLAN 20, and then I've got the IRB interfaces in those respective VLANs. Right, so if we go to our PC quickly, we'll just do an IP config. You can see that there's no DHCP address assigned to this PC. Even if we do an IP config renew, nothing much is going on here. And that is because the DHCP request is not reaching the DHCP server. So we can verify that with the Wireshark. So we'll just go to the DHCP server and we'll capture on XE001. Right, and here you can see that there's no traffic whatsoever reaching this interface. All right, so what we're going to do is on this layer three switch, we are going to configure a DHCP forwarder. Now this uh, is a pretty simple uh, config, very basic. So you'll go into edit forwarding options. All right, so here you can edit DHCP relay. That's where you want to be. And now we are going to configure a server group name. So we'll configure a set server group, server group, and I'm just gonna name it DHCP server, and you're going to specify the IP address. So in our case, it is 10.10.10.2, right? So that is the corresponding IP address connected on this interface here, right? You can just uh, go ahead and press enter. Right, so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to configure a group, not a server group. So we just say set group, I can't talk today. Set group, I'm just going to name this uh, DHCP just for easy identification. And we are going to specify the active server group. And here we are going to use the server group we just created, which is DHCP server, right? So you can do that. Then we can go back into set group DHCP. And here you're going to specify which interface to listen for DHCP requests and forward it to the server we just specified. So in our case for VLAN 10, we are using IRB.10, right? And we can also just go ahead and add IRB.20. Now we'll just go uh, top and we'll do another show pipe compare. So what we've done is under forwarding options, under DHCP relay, we configured a server group with a name and an IP address, and we configured a DHCP group, we specified the active server group, the DHCP server group, this one over here, and we specified which interfaces to listen on and forward the DHCP requests. All right, so we can just go ahead and commit this. 
Right now, if we go back to our PCs, if we do another IP config here, this is on WinServer 14 and IP config on WinServer 15, you see that we still don't have any DHCP assigned addresses here. So what we can do is we can do the IP config renew and we can do the same on this IP config renew. Now you just give it a, a little bit of time and you should get an IP address. So here you can see that we got an IP address of 192.168.10.11 for VLAN 10. And here we got an IP address of 192.168.20.20 in VLAN 20. Now just to confirm that everything is working as it should, you can see the DHCP relay statistics. So here you can just run run show DHCP relay statistics and you will see that we received messages and we actually sent messages as well. Now, if we go back to the DHCP server, what we can do here is run show DHCP server binding and we should see two sessions here. Right, and there we go. So that's the 192.168.10.11 and 192.168.20.20. I'm just going to do a full show display set here. You can pause here to get all the config that we used in this lab. And uh, that should be it. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.